How y'all doing? I'm Tobin, an empty Blue River Reservoir behind me in the B-roll. I'll show you some more of it. But you can see the river kind of flowing through right down there. Done a bunch of shaves from here before. Bunda Beard's Boss Boar. Edward sent this to me. If you haven't seen the first impressions, I'll put a link to that in the description where you'll get some more background about how I came into contact from this. I did not pay for it. A gift. It was a gift from a friend of the channel who lives in Australia. Bunda Beard is a soap company in South Africa. This is their nickel slip base, and I absolutely love it. The performance, everything, it's all there. I've loaded that into my Hendrix, Hendrix Classics & Co. bowl. I can't believe that it is December 31st. This will be my last shave of the year and my last shave video of the year. Once again, I want to thank you guys for your support throughout 2023. I genuinely appreciate it. I've had a ton of fun going out, doing these shave videos, sharing uh, the Pacific Northwest with you guys. And uh, I can't wait to get to some snow. I'm actually waiting for some snow to fall on the passes. Directly below you, right in front of me, I have a mirror. My bougie bottle here with some water. Wet the face. I have my That Darn Rob uh, Tuxedo Knot, a big one. That Darn Rob is now Chisel and Hound. This was one of my first brushes that I ever bought that was an artisan brush. Boss Boer is a lightly, a light fragrance and it's a fresh woody fragrance. Uh, speaking with Yako, it's spelt Jacko and that's what I called him in the first impressions if you saw that. It's actually pronounced Yako. And uh, I was talking with him, I've been talking with him on Instagram, doing some voice messages, and there's like 12 languages that are spoken in South Africa. And I can't recall the name of the language that Boss Boer comes from, but translated into English, it basically means like woodsman, lumberjack, that kind of thing, like what you see on the label. I got too much water, but that's gonna, it's going to be just fine. This is a very thirsty soap, and it's incredible. It really is. They have several different bases, and I have I have three of them. I'll put a, a photo of a kind of a list of them right there. Something that is super cool is how affordable these are. If the currency that you're using is American anyways, the U.S. dollar. When you go to the website, you'll see that everything is done in what they call czar, which is south african rand and it's like 165 dollars for the tub of soap and the tub is 160 grams that comes out to 5.6 ounces but when you do the exchange rate to the u.s dollar today december 31st when i looked that 5.6 ounce tub is nine dollars and two cents so while it might cost twenty dollars to ship it to the states if you buy enough stuff it's still going to be cheaper or as cheap as any of the stuff that we're buying i will be putting in an order very soon did i already say i just recorded the b-roll and i know i was talking about it a little bit in the b-roll yes i did mention a second ago that this is a gift from edward edward thank you i can't wait to share the other bases and fragrances that you guys have sent me um i have i haven't used all that in there i've sent a couple of samples to a few uh friends of mine in the community and uh i am like so impressed with this base the fragrance is beautiful it is just like it says in the description on the website a light fresh woody fragrance it's perfect they have splashes and the splashes the, the exchange rate comes out to around 16 dollars which is still you know not bad um did i write down the size that they are i don't, I don't want to say it'd be wrong but i want to say i'm going to say it even though i might be wrong they're like three ounce or 100 milliliter bottles. They're, they're big full-size bottles. They're cheapest. They have, like I was saying, a few different bases, sheep's tallow. This here is the nickel slip, which has this uh, clay and beef tallow in it. They have a sheep tallow base, a glycerin base, a vegan base. Their cheapest base, you can get samples 
I believe of all these, but at least some of them. The glycerin is only six and a half dollars for a big tub. And like I said, this comes out to 902 for 5.6 ounces. That's cheaper than sterling. The bomb, I don't have a splash for it. I got the bomb here. I'll share with that more with you guys here in a second. But that big bomb, US dollars, is as of December 31st, is seven dollars and ninety-two cents. Now keep in mind, guys, those prices will are subject to change just because of the exchange rate. It could get cheaper, it could become more expensive. I now have a giant bowl of lather here, and I'm ready to start working it in the face, into the face. This is like some of the other bases out there um, with tallow that you do want to work it a little bit. I'd compare it to like Kodiak, very much like the Kodiak base from Murphy and McNeil when it comes to the way it performs and the amount of whipping that is required. You do want to work it for, I'd say, you know, however long you do CK6 or however long you might be doing some of the more popular bases that we're used to, just double it. So however long you're typically working a base, maybe double it. If you're familiar with Kodiak, treat it the exact same way that you do Kodiak. And you're going to get mounds of creamy, high sheen, slicker than you know what lather. Look at all that. Just gorgeous. And that really wasn't that big of a scoop. It wasn't at all. Let's get going on this. While I'm working this into the beard, let's talk about the blade. So Edward sent me a generous box of goodies. And along with those soaps that he sent me, he also sent uh, the menorah blades. So I'll start putting some photos of them up here on the screen. I talked in the first impressions that talked in the first impressions about my love of menorah blades. I've actually been using them for years and I'll put some of the older ones that I have up there. When I first started wet shaving almost 11 years ago, I couldn't find any blades here locally. The only place I could find them was the same place that I was buying my razors and that was antique shops. For, for, so there for a while I was using antique blades and I fell in love with these yellow packets of menorah that were back in the day were not owned by Gillette. They exchanged hands a couple of times. Excuse me, I chugged a rock star a few minutes ago. They changed hands a couple of times over the years before they ended up being a part of the Procter & Gamble Gillette family. But I really fell in love with those yellow ones. And, uh, you know, it was back, the internet was, of course, a thing, but... I had no idea about all the websites and stuff out there like we have today. It was a completely different world. You know, I ended up discovering it eight years ago, something like that. Um, it wasn't until I started searching for the origins and history of Mercur, which is a whole other story. But these menorahs that Edward sent me, and I have the pink ones right there, right? I talked about the pink ones in that first impressions from Razor Blade Club, and I was paying about $4 a pack, and I think they still have them on there for $4 a pack. They're the exact same blades. I have done test after test. Somebody ruffled his feathers. Check out the B-roll too, guys. I got a couple of cool echo shots, or at least I hope they turn out to be cool echo shots uh, from a 22 rifle. But they're the exact same blades. Super affordable. I didn't write down the price. I'll put down the price right up here. But if you can find... If you can find these blades, they are worth it. Like, I was paying $4 a pack for those pink menorah platinums, the, the lighter colored pack there um, that I have on the screen. Because I love these blades, and these are definitely the exact same blades. They come in, in a cheaper package, just like with the silver blues, if you're familiar with the blade change that Gillette did here recently. All they really did, so like with the Gillette Silver Blues, they changed the packaging. They put that, like, that five on there so that you clearly knew that it was five blades inside. And then they used the Silver Blues used to be double wrapped, and now they're just a single wrap. They did the exact same thing with the Menorah Platinums. So if you're familiar with the 
change that they did, that's the exact same thing. They went from the, on the blade itself, it used to have the ink printing. Now it's the laser edge printing in emails with Gillette. Like I've shared before, I learned that they did that because it's harder to counterfeit the laser etching. And then everything else, of course, is a cost saving measure and then updating the packaging a little bit. Look at that. This is just gorgeous, gorgeous lather. Beautiful. I can't, like, ha my hat's off to you, Edward. Um, this nickel slip base, you guys, is as good as anything on the market. I believe he has four different bases. I have three of them. I have the glycerin base, and then, what is that, the sheet tallow? Because you also have the succulent too, right? But this nickel slip, which is their most premium base, it is just as premium as anything you're using. Anything I've used anyways. Um, I'll say that right now. This is just as good, if not better, than anything that I have in my den. It is just gorgeous. Residual slickness, cushion, all of it. The fragrance is light. Uh, the fragrance out of the bomb is light. And that bomb, oh my gosh. It says on the website that you only need to do a little bit. And yeah, follow the steps that are on there because you only need a little bit. And if your skin, is, if, it's, if you have a little bit, like an oily texture, it's because you use too much. And I've kind of gotten it down to where I'm pretty confident that the amount I use here today uh, will be sufficient. It might be a little harder. It's about 45 degrees, something like that, maybe a little cooler now that the sun's going down. But the amount that I've been using in the bathroom and you know the, the way I get it to melt down, if you will, for lack of a better word, um, has been perfect. So I've, I've pretty much got it dialed in. And dude, you only need a little bit, guys. Like for real. I forgot to do the drawing for the Rodak Bowl and for that gift card. But I have a video, I have a couple of videos I want to do from the den this work week that are like top five videos. Um, I'm going to do my top five, my quick five for Master Soap Creations. And I think at the end of that one, I'll announce the winner of that. So if you haven't entered that giveaway yet for the Rodak Bowl or for that gift card, be sure to get in on that. Beautiful, fresh, light, woody fragrance. Like I said too, this one from what I can see doesn't come with a splash. He does have splashes, but not in all his fragrances, not from what I can see. And if you do check out that website, check out his brushes. Yako is making some of the coolest most beautiful brushes I have seen. And you know what? They're all at affordable prices. Very reasonable prices. I want like three or four of them. God willing, I'll end up with three or four of them. Glenn Sherman, if you see this luxury wet shaving hobbyist, check out those brushes. I know he loves brushes as much or more than I do. Probably more than I do. Glenn has some very beautiful artisan brushes. Oh, I didn't say that was my my, my Rockwell 6C uh, plate four. And that was a first use manure platinum. The Everlasting Alum Stick. $9.95, you guys. This is a great bargain. I actually bought a backup. I haven't received it yet. Talked about that the other day. And that's Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Spoke with Andy Amaya just yesterday or Friday. Friday. He's still looking at January 8th. 
so next well at the end of next week i guess it would be right today's december 31st so in just about a week we should have the wet shaving store back up and running i can't wait for that andy's surgery has gone well his recovery is going well and he said his wife makes the final decision on whether or not he opens up the store good man good on you andy uh always listen to the mama uh my wife definitely rules our roost um sometimes she lets me think that i do but at the end of the day we know who does and uh so as of the other day we're set for january 8th and i honestly can't wait because the wet shaving store has become a big part of my wet shaving experience so this is the aftershave balm and this is a tallow balm when you first smell it if you're not familiar with tallow bombs or tallow soaps the soap i don't get it at all when you some of the older type i won't go into it because a whole other story dang that's a big bird flying overhead right now i'm not sure what it is but there's artisans, most of them are gone now, but some of the old style tallow soaps, when you crack them open, all you could really get was tallow. And it has a lot of different ways to do it, the way that they rendered it, fragrance oils, essential oils, all these different things, right? But when I smell this nickel slip base, when I crack it open, I don't smell the tallow at all. Bravo, that's a job well done, especially since beef tallow is the number one ingredient. You also don't see that every day anymore. Sometimes it's like the second or third ingredient, the fourth or fifth ingredient I've even seen. With this balm, the very first ingredient is tallow, followed by shea butter, and then a list of other things. I'll put it up there in a second. You see right here, I've been scooping from right in here. But when you first pop it open, I do smell a light tallow fragrance, but once you get it into your fingers, and I'm just gonna go, so I took my, the back of my thumb, and you see I just got that little amount right there. I might need to do a little bit more here in a second. I'm gonna take it off my thumb, get all of it off of there, put it in between my two index fingers, try and warm it up a little bit. It's been sitting out here in this cool air. I know it's kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna go with my right hand here first. And once you get warmed up in your hand and you get those oils to wake up, the fragrance essential oils, whatever it is they're using, that tallow is gone and you won't detect it again. I've had my wife double check it. Emily and my wife both like this fragrance. It is a very light fragrance. So if you want a strong fragrance, this I would go with one of the other ones and I will be reviewing the other sets that I do have but this is not a strong fragrance uh not in the bomb and not nor in the soap and nobody oh between the bomb and that soap base the skin is so happy tallow is so good for your skin so good one of the best ingredients for your skin is actually tallow and that's one of the only things you know you really miss out on when we use the different vegan bases and stuff like that is the benefits of tallow and, and oftentimes that's made up for in the different butters and stuff like that that we see a lot of these artisans using in their vegan bases but man tallow makes my skin very happy I want to thank you guys for joining us out here today. Stick around for the B-roll. I am on an island. I'll put a couple of pictures of that right up here right now while I'm thinking about it. In the summer, when the lake is full, you have to cross water. You have to swim to get where I am. And you'll see that in the B-roll. I'll kind of show you guys that a little bit. And you can really see it there from the GPS photos from Google Maps. Thank you again, Edward, for sending this out to me. Those blades, I cannot tell any difference at all from the $4 pack, from that old style pack. They are the same blades, just like with all the other changes that Gillette made. I truly believe that with all of them, the Platinums, 7 O'Clocks, all of them, all Gillette did was change the packaging to save money on that end. And then they changed from the printed logos on the blade to the laser etch, etching on the blade. It's a little big things, my friends. 
I hope I don't lose sight of that in the new year. Uh, just to be honest, once again, you know, and I'll, I'll let it go after this video, I promise. I'm I'm anxious for what the, the year brings. Just the, the whole world has been upside down, and I'm not going to focus on that, but just telling you how I feel. I'm going to stay positive, focus on the little big things. One of the little big things for me is definitely these shaves out in the, this beautiful God's country. I'm so fortunate, so blessed to live here at this time and in this age. Every age is, every, every moment in history is crazy, right? Nobody's got it easy. I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Thank you again for all your support. I look forward to sharing my next shave with you. Keep an eye out for my quick five, if I can do anything quick. My quick five of Master Soap Creations. Thanks again, Edward. I cannot thank you enough for turning me on to Boon de Beard. The artisan is Yako. I'm going to continue to jibber jab. Y'all take care, and I'll see you in the B-roll. Thanks, guys. You look so cute with your tongue sticking out like that. Welcome to the B-roll. There's Luna, tongue half-cocked. Hope the shave went well. Hope Luna was a good girl. My wife is with us today, if you haven't already heard from her. I'm trying to think. There was a shave. Oh, doppelganger. But that was when the lake was still full. My doppelganger green shave, somewhere right out in front of me, on that bank, facing towards me uh, is where we did that doppelganger green shave. So you can see the lake is technically empty and what you see there would be Blue River. So technically that is an empty lake and then that is just what would be the river going through. Although I imagine it might be a little more narrow out there than what it is now, but on the other side of that there is where I did the mechanical forest. We are on what we call an island, and that's because when the lake is full, this is an island. And if I haven't already put some photos up of Google Maps, I'll do that now. Done a few shaves through those trees over there. Down into this area. You can see the sun setting. I need to get on my shave. I'm playing and hiking and shooting. Got some, uh, it's hopefully a cool echo here in a second from the 22 that I'll play. Here's my setup. See the bank there. Over here to my left is where I've had my stools. beautiful, peaceful last day of 2023. Thanks for joining us. Thanks again for all your support throughout the year. Look forward to the new year. Hopefully the world doesn't lose its mind like it did in 2020, that last presidential election year. Regardless if it does, we'll still have shaven. You can see we're parked way out there. So this would be all water. And then even where the car is, there's literally water there. And that will separate this island. It becomes an island from that. Take care, guys. Happy New Year. And uh, thanks again, Edward. I appreciate you.